Let's use the TIA Inspire CX CAS to find the intersection between, well, how about a circle and a parabola. So first off, I'm going to choose a new document and ask me if I want to say what I was working on. I say no thanks. Um, so let's go ahead and um, choose a calculator page. You can use the CAS functionality on menu algebra, solve a system of equations, Solve a system of equations. There it is. How many equations? Let's do two. And let's do uh, x squared plus y equals 19. And the other one we'll do will be uh, x squared plus y squared equals 25. The solution to that, well, is right there. And you can scroll to the end and, and, and take a look at that. If you wanted a decimal approximation, simply press Control and Enter. Notice how it has an approximate equals right there. Now, I like the idea of doing this on a notes page. Let me show you one of the advantages of doing this on a notes page. Um, all I have to do is paste from what I had just done, since I had um, just copied it down from the previous line. And here's the solution. Oh, look at that. You don't have to scroll over and see it. Um, by pasting it in again and pressing control enter then you can see the decimal approximation of it oh, for that matter I could just press control enter right here enter control enter enter control enter that's fine isn't it alright uh, let's take a look at it graphically I'll show you a couple of uh, crazy tips for doing it graphically so on a graph page we wanted to, to graph uh, two things we wanted to graph the negative x squared plus 19 and I want to graph a circle. Hmm. Well, here's a fun way to do a circle. I could choose shapes and, and choose circle. I want it on the origin. And do you remember the radius of that circle? Yeah, it's 5. I'm just going to type 5 and press enter. Boom! There's a circle of radius 5. Um, if you really wanted some, some color, then sure, you could right click or control menu. Uh, when you are hovering over the circle and says circle, you can press Control Menu, and you could change the color, even the fill color of that circle. Hmm. Let's uh, let's do some of that. How about a little uh, yellow? Sure. All right. So here's yellow circle and uh, and this red uh, parabola. All right. Next up, we want to find the intersection. Now, sure, there's this nice uh, analyze for for a couple of graphs, and you could do the intersection. But let's take a look at points and lines. Here's a fun way to find intersection points. Click intersection. And it'll tell you right up here how to do it. Click a graph and then click another graph. All right, here's a graph. And then here's a circle. And there's all my nice little points of intersection. Well, you might be wondering, what is the coordinate of that? That was nice, but um, you know, I'd like to see the coordinate of it. OK, well, we can do that too. Uh, one method is the right click again and you see there's coordinates and equation. Now, whatever you can do from a right click, you can also do by pressing menu. So menu, action, and there is the coordinates and equation. Then all I have to do is I go around and I click which one I want to do. Click that one and click this one. What's nice about this is um, it becomes quite dynamic. I can now change the radius of my circle. See this little five over here that was I'm um, describing how the circle was, was made. Um, so grab the five. I could press tab to uh, to get that text. There it is. There's that text. So let's put this text right here and change it to six. Oh, and look at all the points automatically update. And how about seven? Or what if we made it too small? What if we made it four? Hey, there's no more points of intersection. And that's quite obvious. Let's go back to seven because that was nice. All right, so that's about it for uh, for showing you that. Um, could make it more dynamic by um, adding a slider and and, uh, and storing this as some sort of variable like r. That seems like a nice thing. And uh, what else? Action. Inserting a slider. Um, here you get to pick where you want to put your slider. Right there. I'll call it r. And now you can click, 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 change it. If you wanted to change by more increments, right click and settings, um, and you can change the step size of, uh, 
of 0.5 or 0.25 if you want. All right, so that's enough of that, and I um, hope you enjoyed those couple of tips. Um, thanks.